All right, so today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. Uh, so this isn't going to be programming. It's actually showing off. Um, well, I picked up a, a little toy for myself. Uh, it's the um, uh, the remarkable tablet. So that's that's uh, this guy here. So this is a uh, e-ink tablet, um, which does pretty much the same stuff you get from something an iPad with a pencil. Um, but I do like that it's kind of its own uh, separate device, a little bit more distraction free and whatnot. Um, and actually, my biggest use case is actually using it as uh, the way you would need to treat a notebook. So I like to have it sitting on a desk beside me, um, just kind of with my to do list and whatnot there. Because it's e ink screen, it can sit there with the, ink, the screen on all day long, and it's not going to uh, have the battery die, and it doesn't also have to be plugged in or anything like that. Um, so what I'm going to show is kind of how I actually make the templates that I use for doing uh, my work. So uh, this here's what it, I normally work with. Now, um, how I have this laid out, um, you may hate and that's fine. Um, but uh, kind of the way why I have it set up this way is um, kind of what I, what I want to point out mostly. So. Um, let me actually switch over here to a highlighter. So when I'm looking at the week, um, I have a section here at the top where, oh, actually, no, that gives me a red dot. So um, this is a section up here at the top where uh, it will show the week that we're looking at. I have a section up here where I can show if I've done a, a short video, a short blog post, long blog post, a video, and if I've reviewed the week. Uh, down here, I've got my next section, which is my three most important things that I want to be working on this week. Uh, with some of my clients, I do uh, we do uh, the EOS system, so with that we keep track of our personal best and our business best. Um, turns out I made one billion dollars last week, which is pretty great. Um, and then I have my tasks, so that's what uh, these are going to be listing out all here. For all these tasks, um, I'll check off, I'll put a dot where uh, I intend to work on it, and then X out when I have worked on it. If I've completed something, then I actually will X off the, uh, the whole entire row this way. So we can see, for example, that the, the big one uh, in here, I'm still going to be working on it on Friday. Um, and also for stuff here, I intended to work on it Wednesday, but it uh, looks like we'll be finishing up on Friday. Uh, so that's kind of the typical layout. Now what's great with, um, so before using Remarkable, I actually looked at the Kindle Scribe as well. And one of the biggest things that I loved about this versus the Scribe, the Rem Remarkable versus the Scribe, is it has layers. So if I go in here and go to the layers page, um, I've got the base content and template. So if I turn these off and add them on one at a time, the template is just that grid background. Um, I've called this the base, which is kind of my my kind of standard layout here. And then I actually have the content, which is whatever I've scribbled on top of it. And this actually works out fantastically because what I can do is go to the pages section here. I can grab this uh, for my week and I can duplicate this. Um, actually, sorry, this is not sharing. Huh. This is actually the first time I've played with the sharing, so that's why it's not working. Um, um, I didn't know that I didn't do that. Um, okay, so this is showing back up again. Um, no, so uh, so basically if I go and duplicate the page, it's going to bring the whole thing over. I can then go into um, the eraser and go erase all, and it's going to wipe out all that content, and I'm ready to go for another week. So I can now switch back to my tool and you know put in my date put in my new primary objectives and my new tasks um so if you hate this outline that's fine like that's not what my point is but the idea behind this is basically uh, so if i go over here and do a new uh, new page what's great with this layers concept is you can really basically make your own customized system for this so uh, so if I go in here and I've gone to a new page, I'm going to basically start from scratch. If we go here, we only have layer one in our template. So I'm going to call this, um, well, we'll just leave that for now. Um, 
the other thing that really makes this great is uh, they recently added um, drag and hold for drawing lines. So if I go and I draw along here and then hold it, it snaps to place. So I can now go do that. I can count out three lines on the grid and draw the next line. Get that. I can go into here and draw this whole column. And then I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and draw that next column. Um, I can go and then erase those dots because I'm good for counting. Oh. Let's try that again. So erase those lines, draw the second line, and I'm just going to kind of sloppily put this together, but I can go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I can do task one, two, three. I can put in the placeholder uh, highlight. That's going to be for this, the date. Uh, I can do that heading section there for the tasks. I'm just sloppily quickly putting this together. We don't have to watch me for half an hour. Um, I'm going to switch back to my pen. I'm going to preset this to say tasks. And. I'm also going to pre-set up those dots all down here. So what's nice is that once you set this up, you can um, just copy it over for every single one. I'm also going to put that grid up in the corner. Um, and for this, I wanted to use a lighter pen. Um, so I just changed it to uh, gray. And I did short, long video and review. Um, let me see, was there anything else I'm missing? Uh, I think that's the gist of it. So here's where we get to the really powerful thing. Two quick things that we're going to change. So we're going to come back into the menu. We're going to go to the layers. We're going to create a new layer. And I'm going to name this content. And uh, one thing that's interesting, so now if I come, well, so if I come in here and I write my tasks, I'll change it over back to black. If I write my tasks in here, not all those details, like that, and this isn't going to show up, but I'm going to duplicate the page again. So if I duplicate this, here's one of your pro tips for this. So if I come in here and I do eraser, because I want to erase all that stuff from last week, if I go re erase all, this erases the wrong thing. So here's actually what your pro tip is. So I'm going to go back to those pages. I'm going to delete that page I added. And this is the part that's kind of cool. So if I go into this layers and I get content and I make that the, so what happens is when you duplicate a page, whatever is above content, above your template, that's what gets selected by default. So now I can come in here, I can write my content and I'm going to duplicate it. And again, I apologize. I didn't realize this would not be shown, but if I hop back in and I now have switched to the duplicated page, if I go to the eraser and erase all perfect. So that keeps all of the template in place and that's happening because it now has the content instead of my uh, background layer uh, selected. So that's how I work with Remarkable, and that's how I keep track of my kind of weekly um, stuff I'm working on. All right. Take care.